Hi, I'm Abby. Welcome to my New York City kitchen where today we're making broccoli ginger soup with lion's mane mushroom powder. So first, let's talk about lion's mane. What is lion's mane mushroom powder? So I have this beautiful lion's mane mushroom powder made by Chi Traditions and it has been known to help with our cognitive health, which is also our brain health. Lion's mane supports brain health stimulates nerve growth factor and improves mood and focus. So what does that mean? Research has shown that it is a neuroprotective, which means it helps the neurons, especially those in our brains. It also is very helpful, research has shown, for anxiety and depression, another mental health, brain health issue. So all good things, right? And overall, cognitively, it helps with our memory, especially important as we age. So what do we pair that with? Here, we have all this other beautiful stuff to help with our whole bodies and minds in this broccoli ginger soup. So first, let's start with broccoli, which is a cruciferous vegetable, so many wonderful vitamins and minerals, plus a ton of fiber. You can see here also that we have the florets, but also the stems. Don't throw those out. There's a ton of good fiber in here and so many nutrients. So we have chopped them up and included them in our broccoli ginger soup. Now, I also have some ginger, which I'm gonna show you how to peel and chop, but ginger has a lot of anti-inflammatory um, help and really great for you as well. Plus we have some lemon juice and lemon zest, some parsley, some mint, we have a little touch of sweetener over here with maple syrup. And of course, I love to put onion and garlic. They're great aromatic vegetables. Also adding wonderful nutrients to our whole meal here as well in this broccoli ginger soup. So the first thing we're gonna do is turn on our pot over here. And then we're gonna put in some olive oil. And the first thing we'll do is saute our onion and garlic. Like, so we're just gonna saute that. Now I like to add salt at the beginning with my veggies if I'm sauteing because it helps to draw out the water and helps them cook faster, get them maybe golden brown if that's where we're going faster. So I'm gonna put in my salt. I like to peel ginger with a spoon. The wonderful thing about using a spoon with ginger is that you don't waste any of the ginger. If you use a knife, then oftentimes you're cutting away some of that ginger. Then I'm gonna take some of this ginger. So I will kind of roughly chop this ginger. I'm not gonna be so careful necessarily about mincing it or grating it because it will get cooked and then pureed. I'm gonna give this a stir. And then we're gonna add in our garlic. I'm gonna put my ginger in my little bowl here. Ready to go next. Mix that up. Then I'm going to add in our red pepper flakes, some black pepper, and our mushroom powder, then we'll add in our broccoli. Okay, now I'm gonna add in some water. And that will also, when we're adding water, we can scrape up any brown bits on the bottom that may be sticking to the pot. And then we're gonna add in some vegetable broth. All right, so I'm gonna give this a good stir. Really bring it to a, a quick boil, but then we're gonna turn it off immediately because we don't wanna overcook that broccoli. So it'll cook, it'll get bright green, we'll turn it off, and then we're gonna come back here and we'll add in some of our other mix-ins and we're gonna blend it all together into a beautiful, pureed broccoli ginger soup.
All right, so we've cooked this for a short time. Now we are going to move it closer to the rest of our stuff over here. We have a few other things we're gonna add in here. Um, we've got mint and parsley, which are flavorful, bright green. We didn't cook them because we want that bright green to come through. We don't want it to become a muddled brown. Um, and it adds a nice freshness and also a ton of vitamins and minerals in herbs. So those go in. Then for a touch of sweetness, we have some maple syrup. It won't taste sweet in our final soup, but it will smooth it out a bit. And then we have lemon juice and lemon zest. We wanna use citrus or acid like a lemon juice because it adds brightness to the overall dish as well. Next, we wanna, we wanna do this in batches. So we have a whole pot of hot broccoli and onions and garlic and ginger and liquid. So, and it's not all going to fit in here. We are going to have a few batches. This is going to be a lot of soup. So I'm gonna use a ladle and we're gonna carefully fill this up part way and I'm gonna do it in batches. Okay, now here's another trick. It is warm. So I'm gonna take out this middle part so that the steam can come out. But when I do that, I need to cover the hole so that the soup itself doesn't come out. So I'm using a kitchen towel and I'm gonna fold it up, and kind of carefully place it over here. Slowly turn this on. Okay, now the next step is I will transfer this into a bowl or another pot and I'll finish up the rest of this and then combine them together for all of our big batch of broccoli ginger soup. So I'll see you back in a minute with the final product. All right, now we've got all our beautiful broccoli ginger soup with lion's mane mushroom powder and we're gonna pour ourselves a big bowl here. Beautiful, and it's this gorgeous bright green color. So vibrant, so delicious. So there you have it. My broccoli ginger soup with lion's mane mushroom powder. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.